Hey guys, it's Vivian, welcome back to another video, and I've started filming in 1280 by 720p again because it's, oh no, 1280 by 720 I think it's just the screen resolution, because I've, when I looked over the other videos, like, they seem to be pretty decent quality, I'm not sure what you guys think, but they seem to be pretty decent quality, but I don't seem to lag when I film in 1280 by 720 so I'm just going to continue filming in 1280 by 720 and also when I looked over the Fraps footage, like I said in the last video, um, it was quite horrible, although when I was filming with half size on, like, 120 FPS, um, although I only play RuneScape, I think it's like 60 or 30 FPS or whatever it is. Um, I still don't lag if I fought it, if I um, film at 120 frames per second. As soon as I hit, uh, what is it, full, the full size files, I start to lag like a ton. So I'm not going to be doing that with fraps. But I I'm going to give you 10 seconds or 10 seconds in about, I don't even know. I'm not even going to give you 10 seconds, but... I'm going to get you to guess. Oh, I think you just looked at the agility. It's just a habit just to go up. So I just did it twice just there. I think you saw that. But I'm going to give you five seconds to guess how much agility XP I am until 99. So one, two, three, four, five. I am 285k XP to 99 agility. And with the bonus... Um with the bonus XP, I have 190k agility XP left. And like I said... It's definitely, definitely worth doing Barbarian Assault if you're going to be training agility at the Barbarian course because it just speeds up things so much and you'll generally see a lot of people and you might see yourself being put in the situation where you're doing weekly penguins or weekly tiers of gothics or, um, you know, the troll invasion once a month just to put it on agility when all you could be doing when you could be training at 120k XP an hour at the Barbarian Assault course uh, instead of just putting all these XP lamps when you could be putting them on Divination, which is absolutely horrible. I don't like Divination at all. Um, I level 90 though, so I got my 90 plus cape back, but I haven't worn it yet. But yeah, um, I got my 90 plus cape back, but I haven't even worn it yet, so... I don't know how that's going to work, but basically, I was uh, AFK in Divination while playing some COD last night, and I managed to hit 90 Divination, which is awesome. So that leaves me with 282k to 99 Agility, and... A shit ton of XP until 99 divination. But basically, this morning I got woken up by a phone call from my boss, and he was basically saying that the manager, um, you know, the manager that was meant to be on this morning was like, was still sleeping and slept through the alarm or something. So he rang me up. He's like, "Oh, I can't really get hold. I can't really get hold of the manager." So I'm ringing. I'm ringing her boyfriend to, you know, to see to see where she is, so I was like, is, this is like, this is some freaking, what's it called, the Gypsy Triangle, the, Bu yeah, the Bumut, not, not the Gypsy Triangle, the Bumuda Triangle, um, let's just roll with Gypsy Triangle, so the Gypsy Triangle, because I think there's a, a plane that got hijacked or something, um, throughout the Bermuda Triangle, and it just didn't get lost, but this is kind of the same situation with her, and because he, he really didn't have a clue where she was, she wasn't at work, and she tried to um, get hang, get a hold of her boyfriend, and the boyfriend didn't even know where she was, so um, that was a bit of a that was a bit of a strange um, strange occurrence this morning, but uh, eventually the boyfriend found out where she was, and she was still sleeping. Apparently her phone died, and her alarm was um. Alarm was meant to be on a phone, and considering her phone was dead, obviously no alarm went off. So that was so uh, so that happened because COD's COD and COD is life and RuneScape is life and XP is life. But yeah, obviously I didn't get called in. Well, I I did. I originally got called in to work, but at the moment I'm obviously not working because um, I'm training agility. I'm running around the Barbarian Assault course. And, you know, you don't want to be wasting them XP gains by working. Pfft, rookie mistake. And I've also been reading on the um, the RS, you know, the RuneScape page, and uh, this thing called Silverhawk Boost. I'm sure you've probably heard about him by all the other um, RuneScape video makers. But basically, you charge him up with feathers. If you haven't heard of them before, you charge the boots. You run around RuneScape. You charge him up with feathers, and you just get. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a small, like 10% of a small XP lamp um, XP drop for unleashing something. I'm not even even know how to, how it works. But you basically run around RuneScape, and you get XP like. You can just be running back and forth, so you can be standing at Lumbridge, right? Picture this, you can be standing at Lumbridge, and then you run to the chicken pen, and you run back, and you get XP for agility. You get like 900 XP if you're 99, I think. 800 or 900, I'm not sure, because I don't have them, I'm not going to get them, because they're absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure if you can buy them either, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they were on the school, the squeal. The, no, it's not called the squeal of fortune, is it? It's called the gypsy, tre no, the uh, treasure, the treasure hunter chest. What the hell? Um, it's gone from Squirrel of Fortune to the Treasure Hunter chest. Um, so basically, you get them from the Treasure Hunter chest, and you basically um, get XP by running from Lumbridge to the Chicken Pen and back. Well, that's an example of it anyway. Uh, but you can run basically 
I think what people have been doing is they've actually been just chilling at the dummies. I think because I think you, if you if you unleash an ultimate ability, you actually get the XP drop. So um, if you just sit sit at the dummies, I think. Oh, actually, and the new revolution thing came out as well. Hey, so if I go, um, I don't know how. Is this it here? Open extras. But when I logged in the other day, it gave me the opportunity to. Oh, I think it's there. It should be under here. I remember. Um, yeah. So here we go. So you've got revolution. I don't know what revolution is. Um, but oh, actually, so there's like this yellow box, and you can tell that I've been skilling for the past few months, eh? Because revolution is probably one of the most easiest things to do. Um, if you if you've been using it and you're watching this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you know what Revolution does. Um, I'm pretty sure it just uses the abilities automatically in the yellow box. And if you have ultimates in there as well, you'll be able to use those and you'll be able to get the XP drops for the boots. But people have been using from like for Slayer because you can get up to level 60 in them and I just completed my challenge, which is awesome. That's like 20k less XP I've got to get in this skill, which is fantastic. Uh, but like I was saying, you can basically do Slayer with them. You can get your um, attack strength, defense, hit points, and if... Um, XP or maybe magic defense and hit points with prayer if you're using a bone crusher. Pick up the summoning charms with the charming imp. And plus you've got agility XP just for running back and forth from the bloody slayer task as well. Which is completely overpowered. I know Jabrim was a bit butterhurt by it, but uh, you know, I don't <laughs> it's Jabrim. Um, but you know, I'm not really butthurt by it. If I got him, I'd use the hell out of him. Why wouldn't you? It's agility. And you know, I didn't like my view on the Silverhawk boots is probably a bit different to everyone else's, like, they're, they're actually, like, okay, they're really bad for the game, in a sense that, if you're top page, and you've been running around the Barbarian Assault course to get 200 mil agility, hint, hint, Jabrim, hint, hint, Suomi, even though Suomi's a pretty chill lad, I I'm not sure what he would be thinking of it, but he's already got 200 mil, he wouldn't care, because he's, you know, he's made history, so, what's up, um, but, yeah, my views on it, if you can just run around and get XP, that basically means you don't have to do any laps of agility, and um, it's kind of, it kind of deters people from doing, I don't know, agility properly, I guess, but no one really likes doing agility anyway. It's kind of a skill where you, yeah, some people like it, but then a lot of people don't like it either, like myself, I don't really, I wouldn't train agility from like 70 to 99, um, it's just not, it's, I just couldn't do it, like, I would have to chop both of my hands off and put them into my eyeballs. Wait, would that make sense? Yeah, I chop my hands off and I turn them around and I put them into my eyeballs. I'd rather do that than train agility from 70 to 99. Um, but then again, it might be bearable with Barbarian Assault because level 70 to like 90 is really easy. Like I found out with Divination. Oh my, shoot, I just missed the Town Scout. But yeah, so that's kind of my... Oh, I haven't really given you my views on Silverhawk boots, have I? So basically with Silverhawk boots, I think it's bad in a sense that... Um, I think it's bad in a sense for the high levels that, you know, trained really, really hard to get agility XP and they've just, this has just whacked them in the face for people that can just buy it. So, like, they just buy it with IRL money, get it on the, um, on the treasure chest and basically run from Lumbridge, the, Lumbridge to the chicken pens and back and get XP for it, which is kind of ridiculous. But then again, if I had them, I'd use the absolute hell out of them because, you know, agility is agility. I don't really like, I don't really enjoy running around this course, so I'd rather run to Lumbridge or back. I'd run, I love run, I would love to run to the Lumbridge Chicken Pen or back if I got better XP an hour than, uh, you know, doing the Barbarian Assault course. But I think I've just said the same thing five times, and uh, this is a bit, um, I'm prolonging this video a bit too much, but hopefully you guys enjoyed If you did, let me know with the comments, and, um, you know, a like's always appreciated and stuff. Apart from that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.